Hello and welcome once again to your favourite time of the day. It's Nerdle time! I don't know why I spoke like this. Um, let's crack on with the, the standard Nerdle. Uh, hmm, might need some addition. So we'll try 21 plus plus um, for 43, we might have to duplicate something. Oh, we haven't used A5, that might be a problem. Oh, I've made a mess of this, because I wanted something that used the 5. Um, oh, let's try 20 plus. Thirty-four. I, I don't know why I'm making such a big meal out of uh, having a guess on this one. There we go. Shouldn't have tried for zero. So the plus is correct, but not there. So it's going to be another one with some multiplication, isn't it? So what are we thinking? Two plus something times something, or two times something plus something? Two times three plus five? That seems eminently plausible. It's wrong, but it was plausible. So, that all has to be correct. The 3 has to be there, because it can't be anywhere else. And it can't be 2 times 5 plus 3, because we wouldn't be able to put the 3 there. So the 5 has to go there. 6 has to go there. I should have used the 6 and the 1 on the second guess in hindsight, but I... Uh, clearly made a mess of that. Um, but yeah, got very a four. I mean, it's acceptable, but a three felt like it was maybe there for the taking. What are we doing with this one? Not a lot. Um, we've ruled out a lot of numbers from the bottom one, though. Where are we going to put the nine? Uh, let's try 48 plus 41, because then we get the 9 in there. And it happens to be correct, which is always very lucky. But there maybe weren't that many solutions possible. We could have used the times divide, probably. But there weren't that many additions, sums possible at that stage. Um, so the top one is a times or a divide, so what are we going to do with this? 128. Um, so we can only use powers of. Oh, it can't be 16. And it can't be divided by 8 because that would equal. Put the equals there. So it's maybe not 128. So what are we going to try instead? Um, we can only use 1, 2, 6, 8, and 0. How about if it's... Oh no, it can't be 128 as the answer either. I should stop thinking about the powers of 2, but we, we could use 16 and 128 and 8 and 2, so there were lots of options. Uh, so what are we going to do instead? divided by 2 is 40. Hmm, how about 80 divided by 8? That's 10. Hmm. How about... Oh, I'm struggling to even find something that works. but we need to use V8 as well. 18. No, it's not 18. The 8 can't be there. What on earth can it be? I'm still liking these powers of 2. But if it's not 8 times 16, uh, then there's... 
very few things it can be. Can't use 32 or 64. We could just do something like 8 times 6, that's 48. Uh, divided by 2 is 24, that's no good. And divided by 24, we can't use 4. Um, oh, finding an answer that works is surprisingly difficult. Two times eight. Yes, that's an answer. Oh no, it's not. Because then the equals would be there. Yes, okay, two times eight. No. Two divided by sixteen times eight equals one. That's a plausible answer. Or it's a possible answer. I don't know how plausible it is. Okay, so there's no times, so it is just straight division. So it's going to be a three digit number divided by a two digit number equals a one digit number. Oh, so I still like it to be, oh it could be 168 divided by 21 equals 8. Yes, it's not 128, it's 168. I think that might be correct. Oh, so unlucky. I think this has to be correct now. Yeah, because there aren't any other multiples of 8 in the 160s. Yeah, not my finest showing. Five guesses is acceptable, but it took me far too long to get there. Oh, and we've got another one that's just got one symbol. The equals is going to have to go there. Uh, sorry, the times is going to have to go there and the equals is going to be there. So, what are we thinking? Uh, what's 68 times 4? No, it has to be 98 to get the... Well, we have to get the 3 in there somewhere. It could be 90, 63, 93? No. So, what did we say? 98? If it's 98, that's uh, 392, which is not correct. And 68 would be 272, which is also not correct. Oh, that could be something ending in 9 with a 6 at the end, okay. So 39 times 4, no, that's going to need a 1. And it can't be 89. Okay, so I don't like that. Could be something ending in 2 with an 8 at the end. Yes, 92 times 368. I should have got that so much quicker. Was that really less than a minute and a half? That felt so long. That was an awful performance. Oh, what are we doing here? Division again. Uh, oh. But the equals is in the right place. Okay, so it must be something minus 8 minus 1. No, 8 minus 6 plus 9 equals 11. Let's try that. Right. All the right digits just in the wrong order. So it's going to be a minus there and a plus there. So 8 plus. So it has to be minus 1. Uh, so it has to be 9 and 6 that way around. Okay. Happy with that. Slightly back on form, less than a minute solved for that is never terrible. What do we want to do with this one? Four times nine, I don't think we've ever tried that. We've got six in the right place, and it's going to be an equal six. So what do we think? 30 divided by five, that does indeed equal six, but is hopelessly wrong. It's probably just some subtraction, is it? 13 minus 7, that's the simplest option, I think. Yeah, never tried division when subtraction is a viable answer. That was that was foolish. Oh, let's try it. Divided by 4 equals 3, because it's not going to be 3 and 4 the right way around after yesterday, is it? 
Oh, I miss uh, actually nothing. Everything's hopelessly wrong, so let's try some addition. Oh, so I think there's probably still, so the top one, oh, it has to be nine plus nine, I think. We've ruled everything else out. What? Oh, nine plus one. That was foolish. I always forget about the zero. I should have tried the bottom one first. It's going to be six times three, or it's going to be three times six. It's going to be whichever one I don't go for. Okay, I was wrong. I've got a 50-50 guess correct. Right, so it's some better souls than others in that set, um, but we got through them. Thank you for watching. Bye for today.